So uh, yesterday it rained quite a bit. I think it rained about four hours. I only got about four, maybe three or four hours worth of work done. I uh, basically finished the joist up to about here. And then it started pouring. So I had to shut it down for the day. Then it came out this morning, probably around 10.30. 10, 10.30. Finished off these last five joists. Cut the uh, overages on the posts, on the beams off. Okay. And then started blocking. And I'm blocking mainly for structural rigidity. Um, on this post I had to because there's going to be a, a rail post going up here. So with the rail, when it um, is leaned on, it's going to want to go this way. And of course the bottom of the post is going to want to do what the top of the post is doing. So, it, But now it has leverage. It's going to want to kick out this uh, this joist. is going to want to fold this way. So you're going to have to block near your posts. Um, so I went ahead and did that on both ends. Had to do it on this end in order to toenail this edge. So I toe screwed that edge and toenailed this edge. Um, they don't make 45 degree uh, hurricane brackets. Um, let's talk about the hurricane brackets real quick. Uh, so our hurricane ties, uh, basically what these do is they stop the deck from uplifting in very high winds. So you can imagine your deck as uh, basically like a sail on a ship. And when that wind just comes howling through horizontally, it's going to pick the deck up and want to lift it. And uh, the hurricane ties stop that from happening. If you just toenail, say one nail on each side, it would lift under 75 plus mile an hour winds. Now I'm not in a hurricane area, but uh, it is code for our area. So I'm just following code so it passes final inspection. But um, you never be too safe with stuff like this. The last thing you want to do is have your deck with land in your neighbor's yard and then it just becomes a big hassle with insurance claims against you for not using or following code and all that good stuff so um, I'm at the point now where I just need to hang these rim joists okay across the back there obviously across the front here and down along the side that's it uh, very very similar I need to um, put in uh, two blocks obviously there's going to be a post on each corner so there's going to here the post. It's going to be one here, okay, and this is blocked here and here, but this outer joist is also a rim joist, and again, it's going to want to buckle or fold outward if you don't cross brace it. So I need to put a cross brace in here, and I already did. Okay, so there's a cross brace. Some of my scraps not the best in the world, but again, this is for horizontal rigidity, so this, it's not a big deal. There's going to be a post here close to the pool, so I'm going to put another block in here, right on top of the beam. Okay, and that's it. That's it for the blocking. I put a block in there mainly because it's where the two segments meet. And um, we'll get up on the board there and, and walk over and take a look when it's dry. It's too wet right now. Just finished pouring. But uh, the deck sealer works like a charm. So um, i got to wait for everything to dry out so I can treat the tops of these. I want every exposed horizontal surface that's not on the downside. I want all the top side horizontal surfaces to be treated. Um, on these vertical split ends, okay, where the grain is exposed, I need to stain that as well. And then I forgot to do this one right here, so I gotta stain this as well. Um, I never got around to caulking the joints. I was hoping to, but um, I'm trying to hurry up and get this done in a timely manner just so we can start enjoying it. But uh, you know, it's that's negligible. I think it's not going to be an issue. Again, these are sandwiched together. It's going to shed water, so it's not a big deal. It's not going to trap much. And uh, both sides of those beams are treated to... Uh, it's not only pressure treated, but I mean uh, sealed. So uh, even if water does get trapped in there, it's going to get... Uh, it's eventually going to make its way out. It's not going to soak in. But uh, that's about it. That's all that's left. After that, it's decking. Decking's going to go fairly quick. Um, I'm going to be running it at 45 degrees to the joist, so the decking is going to run perpendicular to this outer, so it's going to go like so. Okay, so as we get further along, those long angles need to be cut on the ends. So what I'll do is I'll take all the long boards, I'll run them along this end, I'll shove them up against the pool, basically estimate off the um, off of the, uh, the rail. I'll leave the rails up while I slide the decking under it. Okay, the top rails, I mean, of the pool. So I'll leave those top rails there. I'll slide the decking up underneath it. And I'll use that deck, uh, the, the, the deck top plate as a guide. And then I'll put a 2x8 or a 2x6 or maybe a 2x4 if it's not too steep of an angle. 
set it up against it, and then just trace it on the outside of the board, pull all the boards off, cut them, slide them back under. As long as they run long, I don't care. And then I'll go ahead and just screw them all down. And that was what took so long yesterday, was these compound angles, getting these set perfectly parallel to the top plates of the deck. So they are all perfectly sit right underneath it. So, um, but yesterday I got to this point here and uh, realized that this beam, okay, was about a half inch low on this side. It was okay down here, but it was a half inch low here. I don't know how that happened. Um, I double and triple check all my measurements, but I must have forgotten to run um, the level from that corner to this corner because that beam sat a half inch higher than this beam. But luckily I was working from that direction outward and checking everything as I went. So when I got to here, I was like, whoa. So I had to pull, I had to take all these posts. They weren't, you know, nailed in or anything yet because I hadn't gotten there in my progression. So these all came out or came off. This post came out and I backfilled it with some uh, really heavy gravel and uh, filled in with this smaller gravel. So it's basically like a, a, a very compacted gravel on top of that concrete pad, but it's only a half inch, so um, any water gets on there, it's gonna it's gonna migrate off of that. So I'm not worried about that. But uh, here we go, it's raining again. Oh, I'll get in before I destroy this camcorder later.